Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to show you what are the advantages and disadvantages of auto date time in Power BI and how your data model could be blown with just one mistake. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon for all such interesting topics in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. In this dataset, we have this sales table and we have written few measures like total sales, profit, and total cost. As of now, we don't have any calendar table in this model. First, we are going to create a YDD measure, and since currently we don't have any separate calendar table, we will use auto date time feature of Power BI and see how it works. To create YDD measure, we will use total YDD DAX function and we'll use order date column for date reference. Our time intelligence function is working, and we are able to see the expected result. Since we know that for time intelligence calculations, we need a date table with continuous dates, so let's look into the details of auto date time feature and check how it creates the required date table. If you will hover over to this small icon of auto date time, you notice that it creates a hidden date table for all the dates in our model. Means if you have 10 date columns in your entire data model, it will create 10 hidden date tables. And at this point, we have to be cautious. This feature is available to give you flexibility to create time intelligence with any date column in your model, but sometimes it's not required, like for a date of birth column. Let's now first check the model size using DAX Studio, and then we will do a very minute change in birthday column and see what happens. And here you can see. All the hidden date tables created for different date columns are visible. And once you click on this view metrics, you can see the entire cardinalities of all the columns in our model. And in summary, we can check the model size, which is currently showing 337 megabytes. This model size is the amount of RAM used to process this data model. Now let's go to the Power Query Editor and do small mistake and we'll check back again this model size. With one date changed, our model size has gone double in size. This happened because Power BI has created a hidden date table till the year 9999, and probably you may not notice that this happens because of the mistake or a different number in birthday column. We can solve this problem by creating a separate calendar date table either in DAX or in Power Query. It is very easy to create calendar table in Power BI. Let's create one using DAX or Power Query. First of all, we will disable the auto date time feature of Power BI. Creating date table using calendar DAX function.
You can also create a calendar table in Power Query using list.datesm code. Here you need to define start date, number of dates, and the step. And then you can add all the required columns like year, month, and others. When you mark the table as a date table, Power BI asks which column contains the dates of the calendar. This is required because the engine adds remote filters every time you apply a filter on that specific column. Once you mark the date table as a date table, the results become correct again. We have now changed the sales order date to calendar date, and we are able to calculate the YDD measure. Let's check the model size again. We still have that mistake in birthday column and also created additional calculated table. Even then our model size is decreased from 663 megabytes to 374 megabytes. And it is recommended to have separate date table in large data models. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for all such interesting topics in Power BI.